You know, NC State and UNC's basketball teams are going to meet tomorrow night in Raleigh, and here's a really fun stat for you. Both teams are 3-0 and in ACC play this season. You know the last time they faced each other with at least 3-0 and league records? That was 1974, so someone will get their first ACC loss tomorrow night. Kevin Keats has never been 3-0 and in league play before at NC State. He's relishing the opportunity to go all Dave Dorn and knock off the Baby Blues again, just like they did last year when they beat the Heels in Raleigh. It's going to be huge, and I mean, we're going there with a chip on our shoulder just being that the way we lost to them last time, and it was a pretty disrespectful loss, and you know how it gets over. Okay. It's dangerous, so weird. Uh, it's different. Uh, on paper, both teams like to get out. Both teams like to run. Um, I can see that, uh, but I don't know. You know, we just obviously, you know, for us, we're just going to stay the course. We're going to try to play our style of basketball, which is trying to get out and run. That should be for a quite raucous environment in Raleigh tomorrow night when they tip it off at 8 o'clock. Meanwhile, some relatively good news for Greenville native and former UNC star, Dayron Sharp. According to the Nets front office, he has a hyperextended left knee and he'll be reevaluated in two weeks. The 22-year-old hurt his knee Sunday and he's missing Brooklyn's trip to Paris, France. Dayron averaging 7.7 .7 rebounds per game this season. We'll see if that left knee can get healed up. Former Northside of Beaufort County star Bam Adebayo had 22 points and 15 rebounds to help the Heat beat the Rockets by seven. Idris was in foul trouble in the first half, but then scored 18 of his 22 in the second half to help Miami win for the sixth time in their last eight games. Foul trouble in the first half, it happens. But that's when you have to continue that mindset of how can I impact winning? How can I still be consistent? And second half, you shake the fouls off and you go out there and perform. Oh, well done, Kyle. The Heat will try to stay hot when they're back in action tomorrow night against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Former Kinston High School star Reggie Bullock, by the way, did not play in that game for the Rockets. National Championship game. Michigan rolled to its first title since 1997. The Wolverines dominated on the ground and never really had much trouble. They pulled away in the fourth quarter to win at 34-13 to to cap off a pretty wild season for Jim Harbaugh. Off the field issues, we're innocent. And, and we, stood, we stood strong and tall because we knew we were innocent. Now he's got the trophy and now he's got to figure out what he wants to do. He'll have lots of NFL options. Oh, by the way, the last time Michigan won a title game, Tom Brady was a backup quarterback who played in four games for the Wolverines. All right, speaking of NFL coaching vacancies, there is one in Tennessee now because the Titans fired Mike Vrabel. The 48-year-old had four straight winning seasons in Nashville, but then went 6-11 this year. Uh, he won't be out of a job for long if he does not want to be. You can catch the rest of your ENC Sports on our website, WCTI12.com, including more about the Panthers and their vacancies for a head coach and a general manager. I'm Brian North for News 12.